strong. Hello mga kalaro! Tara, laro tayo! And what we're gonna play is the 1 is to 12 Chocado Sagehorn from the Medabot game series. This line started in 2020. The first series has the game version of Metabi, Rokusho, and Cross Messiah. We also had the premium box set which is very expensive. But take note, it's worth getting. I highly recommend on getting one if you don't have one yet. And now we have series 2 which has um, Sagehorn, Hirsch Kaffer, another cross messiah with a new set of arms weapon, and another tin pet with a shield. Like the series 1, we do not get a box, but rather they are packed in a small plastic bag like this one. Once you open it, you'll get the manual. This one, parts of sage horn, the connectors, and a metal watch, a black metal watch. So let's start building and see how awesome sage horn looks like. Now we have sage horn. It took me around 15 minutes to build this one. It's easy to assemble, so no worries for beginners. Um, assembly was very straightforward and parts are easily uh, are easy to connect. Uh, but take note that there are some improvement that they made that it made the assembly a bit of a challenging. Uh, for, uh, for parts that connects from plastic to rubber, they made it uh, very tight. So I suggest that you use a uh, a warm or hot water uh, to dip your parts and then connect them. Those are for the rubber parts connecting the the plastic ones. For the plastic ones, plastic to plastic, they also improve on that one. They made it easier to to snap. Before, it's really hard to connect them. So yeah, that's one improvement with the with this figure. Let's look at the articulation. So for the head, it's connected via ball joint. So you can rotate it 360 degrees. It can move down and up. So for the shoulders, it has a double ball joint. You can uh, move the shoulders moving forward backward 360 degrees uh, you can uh, move the shoulders uh, or the arms uh, on the side and then there is a swivel on the bicep uh, you can um, bend the elbow 90 degrees for the wrist it is on a ball joint but uh, it is hindered by by the it by the weapon, by the sword, so you can't move it that much. For the abs, you can uh, move it forward or extend it to the back. But be, just be careful because this easily falls off. Okay? Um, it can also rotate 360 like this. Okay, for the thighs, um, there is a ball joint, so you can do a kick pose. Okay, um, you can also extend it at the back, but it get it gets hindered by this one. Okay, see, this is one disadvantage or this is one problem with the figure. Uh, parts easily falls off, so that's one problem. Uh, for the knee, um, you can bend it up to this angle then um, for the the ankle it has a it has a ball joint and additional swivel on the foot okay for the size comparison here is the one is to six 
Kotobukiya Metabi. Um, here is the D arts Metabi. So for the smaller ones, we have the Perfect Collection and the Tommy Vintage Metabi. So it's a good 3.5 inches figure. Final thoughts. Let's talk about the good things first. For those who collect this line, it's a good character to add to your uh, lineup. This figure is very poseable, as you can see. It can do different poses. So those collectors who loves posing their toys every now and then, then this is a figure for you. Another reason to buy this is they are cheap. They retail for 900 yen. Uh, I got mine for 800 yen each. That's uh, inclusive or ex rather exclusive uh, with shipping. So let's move on with the bad ones. For the bad ones, parts are still falling apart. So if you move this one, see? it The parts uh, gets detached. There you go. Okay, it's been an issue with the Series 1 and the Premium uh, set. So, it's a common issue. So, nothing's, nothing new there. <laughs> so, um, another thing that is bad in this figure is that the paint application is very bad on this one. I am really disappointed with, uh, with mine. Um, as you can see, there are lots of paint chips and bleeding excess paint on the accessories. So, this is really bad. Uh, lastly, uh, they can only be purchased from Japan or through premium Bandai sites. So, you really need to import them. So, that's one hassle of this figure. Um, but with the problems and issues with this uh, figure... I still recommend on getting the getting it. Um, if you have a chance, I highly recommend on getting it, especially if you just if you see it on sale for eight hundred yen or nine hundred yen. It's a it's a good price. Okay, uh, I think that's it for the Chodako Sage Horn. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Till next time, bye bye.